Hi everybody, it's Teacher John, and today we're going to do some math. So, if you have this paper, you can print it out. It is in the uh, description of this video. Or if you don't have the paper, you can just get any blank piece of paper. You also need something to write with, like a pen or a pencil. I don't have a pencil, but I think a pencil will be much better for this video. So go get a paper and a pencil, and hit play when you are ready. All right, are you ready to go? Today we will do something called the four fours challenge. You have to use the number four, one, two, three, four times to get all the numbers from one to 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And you are allowed to use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, okay? It sounds pretty easy at first, but it gets pretty tricky. So let me give you one or two examples, and then I will have you try it by yourself. So, it might also be good to have like an extra piece of paper to just do lots of math on. You can use all four fours, and addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and you need to try to make all of these different numbers, okay? So if I'm just thinking off the top of my head, one thing maybe I will do is four plus four, uh, that would equal eight. And then if I do, so that's one, two of my fours. If I do eight, because I got eight here, plus four, that will give me 12, okay? So let me write my four fours up here. I used one, two, three already. I have one more four to use. So now I have my 12, let's say 12, minus four. That will equal eight. Easy peasy. So if you have this paper right here, you can go to the, nu the number eight and you can say four plus four plus four minus four equals eight. Okay. Or if you're doing it on a paper like this, you can just write four plus four plus four minus four equals eight. So far, so good. Make sure you, you use one, two, three, four fours, and you can use addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. We haven't used these two yet. Okay, I'm gonna do one more for you, uh, showing how we can use uh, just division in this one, and you'll try the rest on your own. All right, I think you all probably know that if you take four divided by four, what is that? Yeah, any number divided by itself equals one. So let's say four divided by four equals one. So that's two of my fours, cross those out. I still have to use two more fours. So let's just do it again. Four divided by four equals one, easy peasy. So now I have one and one. I've used all of my fours. So I can do one plus one equals two, perfect. So now I got my number two. So again, if you have this paper, you can write four divided by four plus four divided by four equals two. Or if you're on a different paper, same thing. You can just say four divided by four is one plus four divided by four, which is another one. One plus one equals two. All right, so I've given you number two and number eight. I want you to try to see if you can do one, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, and 10. It might be a little bit hard at first, but keep just playing around with numbers, do different things, uh, and try to get all 10. If you want an extra challenge, or if you get stuck, you can try doing 11 through 20. Some of these ones are really easy. Like, I'll give you a hint. 16 is so easy. So if you get stuck on these ones, you can try to do the ones at the bottom first. All right, have fun. See how many you can get. If you get all of them, that's awesome. If you only get some of them, that's fine. It does not matter. Just try your best and then take a picture when you are done and send it to your teacher. And if you get stuck, it might be good to, to close your book, go do something else for 15 minutes or even come back tomorrow and then open it up and try again 
later, okay? Awesome job, high five, and have fun.